remember last fall, a homeless veteran came to the aid of a woman stuck on a Philadelphia interstate. The woman and her boyfriend decided to pay it forward. And they wound up starting an online fundraiser for the man, and donations flooded in. But now it appears this viral feel-good story may not be headed for a happy ending. We'll be joined live by the couple in just a moment, but first, watch this. Last fall, Johnny Bobbitt's story went viral. The homeless veteran gave his last $20 to help Kate McClure, whose car ran out of gas on an interstate in Philadelphia. To say thank you, McClure and her boyfriend, Mark D'Amico, set up a GoFundMe page with a goal of $10,000 to help Bobbitt get off the streets. The story of selflessness inspired more than 14,000 people to donate over $400,000. As of right now, we have that much. Right there. 1,760. My life. McClure and D'Amico say they were helping Bobbitt manage that money. But today, Bobbitt tells the Philadelphia Inquirer that he is back on the streets, back on drugs, and wondering where it all went wrong, telling local media he's only seen a fraction of the money and now retaining a lawyer. What he would like is to obtain the money that was raised for him. Over 14,000 people gave money um, to Johnny Bobbitt to help him get off of the streets and have a safe place to live. McClure and D'Amico tell the Philadelphia Inquirer that they have already given Bobbitt more than half the money. The couple, meantime, appears to be doing well. And in an interview with the Inquirer, Bobbitt says, maybe too well, posting pictures of vacations and what he says is a new car. But the couple says that's far from the truth. They say that recently they bought a used car with 60,000 miles on it, telling NBC News they use their own money, not the donations. They also told the Inquirer that giving a drug addict like Bobbitt all the money would be like giving him a loaded gun. But Bobbitt's lawyer says the money belongs to her client and that Bobbitt and the 14,000 plus donors are entitled to a detailed accounting of the money that's been spent and raised. McClure and D'Amico say they can provide an accounting of the money. As for GoFundMe, a spokesperson says they're looking into claims of misuse. Please help me welcome Kate McClure and Mark D'Amico. Thank you both for being here. So can we go back to Kate? I mean, it was an extraordinary moment when you're stranded there on the interstate and, and a homeless man comes over and basically goes and gets you the gas. I mean, that's why it went viral, right? Yes. Yeah. So you're thinking, I mean, most people would have said, that is so sweet, thank you so much, and they would have moved on with their lives. Right. What made the two of you want to do more? He was such a genuine person. He was very nice every time that we, because uh, we went back afterwards, um, you know, to repay him. And every time that we went back, it was like, you know, we saw more and more of his genuine personality and how kind he actually is. And we decided that he doesn't belong on the street, mm -hmm. that this is not where he belongs. He belongs just to live like a normal human being. He deserves a chance, yeah. basically. So you, you initially thought if we could get him $10,000, it would really set him up for success. Yeah, at but least get him off the streets for the holidays, you know, like just something, just something kind, like something. A place to sleep, yeah. place to shower somewhere to go so he can, you know, close a car. But people were incredibly generous, and the story went viral, and you wind up with $400,000 from, which is so extraordinary. So you you didn't get him a house. Like, were, were you in control of the funds from the beginning? Like, you didn't? Yes. Why didn't you just, like, yes. cut him a check? Why didn't that happen? Well, in the beginning, it was as simple as he didn't have a bank account. Okay. He had no documents, no ID, no birth certificate, nothing. So we worked to get him all of those things, and that takes so much time when he was between, states. yeah, North Carolina, um, Missoula, Montana, and, of course, Philadelphia. We're trying to, get, you know, figure out how to get all of these documents together. Mm -hmm. um, so I spent countless hours on the phone trying to get him his identification. And, you know, you can't just walk into the DMV and be like, here's my birth certificate. No, you cannot. It takes a ton of things. And So, um, so yeah. during that time... <clears throat> the money was placed into our account, and if he needed anything, he had it. It was there was never a question on. Now he didn't want a house. No, no. That was his, his decision. He's a wanderer. He his did, dream. He's a uh, one guess. of the he first conversations say. I had with him was um, what he wanted. You can you can do anything you want in the world. It's it's you won the lottery basically, <laughs> and I asked him what his dream was, and he said to end up in Alaska, in a travel trailer and living off the land and fishing and hunting. And I said, let's do it. You so you bought a trailer? 
Yep. He picked it out. He bought the trailer. And is it true you guys allowed him to keep the trailer on your property? Yep. Yes. For the time being, just until he got um, everything together. Like I said, his paperwork um, was a big one. And then... Um, but already, I mean, it's pretty extraordinary, right? It's like, now you've helped him raise this money. You've, you've agreed to care, take the money. You've helped him get a trailer. Is it true he was showering and using your home? Yeah, he had full yeah, access, he had full to, access, access to the yeah, house. Was... We left our door open for him. Everything was... that we this had... This is over had... a, a few months, a period. Year. He, was yes, our, yeah. he was our family. Yeah, That's, was... He is our family. I still, I still think to this day that he is our family. I still will say that. Okay, so, but like every family, now there's drama. Of course. Right? <laughs> and, uh, and dysfunction. And right. the question is, you know, now he's basically accusing these two of a fraud. And is there really reason to believe that? We're going to pick it up there after the break. And we're back now with Kate McClure and Mark D'Amico, who started a fundraiser for a homeless veteran, Johnny Bobbitt, after he came to Kate's aid when her car stalled on the highway. Now they find themselves in a dispute with Bobbitt over the money. So let me ask you, Mark, to people who say, okay, so then once you've got the IDs, why don't you just create an account for him? Just at that point, create an account or get a trustee for the money. Why didn't you do that? Well, during the course of us getting all his proper documents and everything, the red flags were popping up and... Right after Christmas, we were going to see my dad, and we deposited $25,000 in his account. So you did create an account, yes. but you didn't feel comfortable giving the entire four hundred. dollars Yes, because we saw the pattern that was developing. That suggested what to you? That he was going to do something foolish and be, end up right back where he was. What specifically? The drug use, and uh, every dollar he ever touched was, was used for drugs. How did you know? Our Lyft account was... I mean, it's 2018, everything, everything he had was through us. His mailing address became our mailing address. His, all of his accounts were So he's linked taking to your, us. he's using your Lyft and Uber accounts to yes. go where? And to go to Aramingo Avenue, Aramingo Avenue in Philadelphia and get just drugs. Just where and, the obvious drug places are. There's nothing else to do there. But he, he went through $25,000 in how days. long? How long? 13 days. Did you confront him about drug use? Yeah. Uh, no, he knew we knew. We and, tried and getting him into um, multiple rehab reading, facilities yeah. um, um, that he chose on his own. Um, so we went through the whole process. I called multiple places for him. And then... And every um, time it was a different story. When, it, know, when the day it, came... And you know that happens. If he's, if he's... Yeah, and, and that's why it took so long for us to finally have to say no. When, when it came time to him asking for money, when we knew where it was going, it was time... I wanted to make sure that at the end of the day... When he was ready to, he had something left. Well, that also would have been a controversy. If you raise $400,000 and you let him use it all for drug Either use... Either way, we would have been You would have gotten hit right. for that. But, having but a conversation. as a lawyer, I would say to you, why not put it all in a separate account and get a trustee yeah. to manage it rather than the two of you that's, having to manage that? That's what we're in the process of doing now. And we're in the process of having everything looked over by our, our lawyer. And he has his separate lawyer and he will have his own trust and it will be out of our hands. And you know he's claiming, we, we represented in the piece, your defense too, he yes. says, oh, they took these vacations and they bought this yes. car. Have you spent, I know you admit that one time you were with him and you nope. used $500 mm -hmm. from his account at a casino. Yes. You say that was with his consent yeah, and he, that okay. you paid him back. Yep. yep. But other than that $500, have you spent $1 of that 400000 no. on yourselves? No. no. Nothing? No. no. You're representing that right here and right now. There's never yes. going to be any proof that you did that you did. No. And so how much is left in the account now? That's what we're in the process of finding out because we have, like we said, it was, a, it was in our account. So we Yeah, have but you must, you must know how much he has, spent. He has well over $150,000 left. $150,000 left? Yes, well over that. But so $250,000 has been spent? Uh, well, it was actually like three fifty dollars after the fees and everything from GoFundMe. But yes, he spent a, a lot of money. He went through a lot of money. All on... on the trailer on oh, what? The trailer. Oh, well, just not all on. This is this wasn't all on on drugs. It was. He started with nothing, and he, I mean, legal fees that were passed to, court costs, um, you know, get uh, the trailer, sending his parents money, giving his. Now also his brother came into the picture and was also living on our property, wow. who was also an addict. Who deals with so it. You're, are you totally happy well. to have an, an, a forensic accountant come Absolutely. in and look at all Absolutely. the accounts yep. and figure it all out? That's what we're in the process of doing. You're, and you're fine with that? Right. Yeah, at this point, we and have to... The, to... to the people who read that Inquirer account and said, these two, they committed a fraud. I know you've been getting death threats now. You, tr yeah. you tried to do a good thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. What do you want it's people to know? It's my family, and I don't know. It's so hard to deal with because... 
these people are getting one side of the story and receiving death threats and, you know, threats to burn my house down and threats against my family and everything like that is so hard to deal with when we know that we did a good thing. Mm -hmm. And I still believe that we did a good thing and I would do it all over again. Mm -hmm. I would do it all over again for him. They have said they'll have a forensic accounting. They have said they're fine with the trustee. They have said they'll open up the books. What more can they do? I, I would urge anybody to withhold judgment until that's been made public. And anybody making death threats against this couple that clearly tried to help this man needs to have their head examined. All the best to you both. Thank you for coming on. All right, we'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.